Look at the ants, Sidney. That's not good, is it? Um, they that's just little. I call them little sugar ants, but uh, they kind of have a symbiotic relationship, right? So the bees they tolerate the ants, and the ants tolerate the bees. But you know, we have a few few bees on here that they just get off. But the the ants. Or they glue it down, don't they? Oh, look at that. <laughs> So we had put the, Just, last time we put the, the honey super on the bottom. Yeah. And we moved this to the top because we want her to come up here. Um, so our, our goal was to get her to move up and lay in the top box. And then that way we could swap them around. Just going to get them down a little bit. Boy, they're working pretty good, pretty good down in this. Yes, isn't sir. I'm gonna clean, clean a little bit of comb off the top here. Yeah, I put that uh, solar panel, a uh, solar snail on, on that honey, that wax rather. I put it to use the other day. All that old wax we got the other day, I'm re I'm rendering it, coming out beautiful. I'm gonna walk around the back because I'm standing in their way, and they are letting me know. Gonna make them mad, huh? Well, they just they just bunch up in front of the hive and all right. Sonny, it don't take them long to glue something down, does it? You no, know, sir. Woo, Sydney, they working on that. They got this hive is full of full of honey, nectar coming in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see if she's moved up. I would guess she is, huh? I'm hoping she did. So now we have, um, we had one frame that was more or less empty. Mm -hmm. So of the ten frames in the box, they, they, they coming to work. We're gonna have, um, we're gonna have little baby bees hatching. Yeah. Um, but but this. This is full of of new eggs and it is. I can see them. You can see the yeah. white. Yeah, they down it. Oh yeah. So they they feeding them royal jelly. She is up here laying, doing exactly what she's supposed to do. Um, we have drones. That's a good sign of a healthy hive. But that's her right there, wasn't it? No, no sir. No, that's not her right there. No, sir. That's a big bee. That's a, that's a drone. Yes, sir. That's one of our drones. So, all right. But they appear to be up here. I can't get over how fast they glue everything down. Oh, this one's really heavy. All right. That dog on Burke home. <laughs> and we're going to leave that for now. Um, I like to cut it off. So we've got capped bees that'll be hatching pretty soon. Lots of larvae, lots of eggs. So she's uh, she's close by. She's doing her job. She is doing fantastic. I was a little concerned that being a 2024 queen that she might uh, she might not do as well as we had hoped this year, but she is doing fantastic. We're going to keep giving her room. Well, now she also had eggs in that bottom box, didn't she? Yes, sir. And it's it's pretty it's pretty full down there right now. I can see bees peeking at me through the Oh well is it full down there? Them down there. Look at the brood. Look at the brood. <laughs> Sydney. No, that's not her. So this is mostly capped. And loaded with eggs. Get away from here. Well, oh, you're not joking. That box is full down there. So she 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 could be split again, right? Um, we could. Now our our goal is to try and keep her whole this year and look get, at that cap brood. And get as much honey from her as we can. 
Good Lord, look at the camp brood, Sydney. Man, she's working. Now, is how come these are bigger? Get out the way. How, look. Some of the cells? Yeah, the white part. Well, they hadn't finished capping those yet. Oh, it's just a bigger, uh, okay. A bigger grub. Lord, I mean, she, whoo wee <laughs> No doubt she's producing. Yeah, I kind of hope I'd see her up here. But. Okay. Look, carrying pollen. Pollen all over her legs. Look, there's a nut. They're loaded with pollen. Now, Sydney, why would your worker bees be in back and down into the high, into the cell? You see some of them back down into it. During the winter time, they might do that, but normally, I I wouldn't think you would see them. They normally go head first. That's got to be a drone too. Yes, sir. So we got plenty of drones. There she is, right there. She just ran to the other side. She's right there by my thumb. Boy, she's pretty. Yes, sir. Ooh, is she pretty? So she's the mother to the three, um, the three nukes that we have. I'm gonna put her back. So now, quick question. We know she's up here laying, and we know they got all it in the bottom. So does she go up and down, or she basically stays up here? She'll go up and down as she finds room, but we're trying to get her. She likes to go up. She likes okay. to move up. Um, so we're trying to get her to stay in this big box. Uh, has more room for her, uh, more frames of, of wax so she can lay. And uh, so we're going to. We want her up here. I don't remember which one of these was the one that had the um, uh, had the wax in it last week. Do you remember which one we put in here? Uh, no, come to think about it, it was the one that needed to be cleaned, wasn't it? Well, they cleaned it. Yeah, because I don't see anything in that needs cleaning. No, sir. <laughs> they took care of it. I'm going to move this one over. I can't believe the bees in that bottom box. Okay, this one's pretty heavy, and it is honey. Ooh, look at that. And she's over here now. She just moved to this frame. Well, there she goes, running a little hard out. So I need to be careful with that one. Okay. You want me to move this one over a little bit? Uh, we can. I'm going to um, I'm gonna try to get another frame for him if I can. Um, maybe put another one of these frames in there a little bit. Another one of these frames? Uh, well, one of these up front. We're trying to rearrange the frames to keep the uh, queen bee busy. Basically, running in circles, laying and laying eggs. Well, they working on that one a little bit, huh? Yes, sir. Now they're getting rowdy now. <laughs> I can hear him start to get rowdy. So now we'll split this one again in what a week? Next week, week after we can next? wait a little bit longer, but we can uh we definitely can get another uh if we're gonna once once we um once we switch these again then we can put a queen excluder if we want to get some honey in that box. All right, I got plenty of excluders. Now, dumb question. If we split her again, can we split her two more times? You, we can split her all the way into the fall. We just, we just we're going to try to get some honey out of this Okay. One. Now, my way of thinking is the more queens you got working, the faster you're going to get the eggs, the young ones. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. So you got one queen working here. If you got four or five queens working over here, it's just a five to one ratio. Yes, sir. Okay. Sometimes numbers, a mass can lie. 
<laughs> so we need to have a uh, what they call a critical mass. So just just to maintain the day to day operations in the hive, they need between as low as thirty to as much as sixty thousand bees. Okay. That's just to maintain and have a have a, a strong, healthy hive. Now to build surplus honey and to to split and to swarm, they're gonna need between forty, fifty, up to as much as a hundred thousand bees. Wow. So you can put that many in one of these hives? Yes, sir. Two deeps. You can fill two deeps. Wow. Now during the summer here, it, it'll get warm on them, and they'll beard in the front and oh, uh, yeah, things I've like that. that. But um, I've seen uh, them beard big time. So our goal is to get this hive up to over critical mass and start bringing in surplus nectar to dehydrate or dry and turn into honey. All right, so. What's that, Chief? All right, so see how the foragers are coming back, and now I've got the lid in front of it? Yeah. This is what happens when you stand in front of a hive. They back oh. up back here, yeah, so you want to work the hive from the back rather than from the front. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. But if you do this, you can, you can, you can start to see. I can see them coming in with pollen uh, and what color the pollen is. So, um, so they're going to build up, and then I'm going to pull this away. And they're all going to try to land at one time on the on the front of the, the hive there. And you'll be able to see what they're coming in with. They're definitely going in with pollen, that's for sure. So there's a lot of yellow pollen coming in. Yeah. But there's one with the yellow. Yeah, one coming in just now loaded. So they're bringing uh, tree sap for for making the you know the propolis they're bringing in water uh, they're bringing in nectar they're bringing in pollen um, so they're all bringing in different goods from different different areas it's amazing how they can work together with that many bees in that small an area and the things they can accomplish Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. This, so the three frame is like a mating nuke. This is a mating nuke. It's easy to maintain. Um, and because there's only three frames in here, which we had two, right? We had two in ours. Um, it's easy to find the queen. It's easy for them to defend this small entrance. And it's, it's the critical numbers that they need to, to maintain this small hive is a lot lower. I see. So another five and maybe another three. Probably. Uh, we probably need to educate them on as well. Bacon honey. Yeah. So they have to have, um, they have to have plenty of room in order to bring in nectar, which could have as much as 90% water. Okay. Yeah. The honey has to be dehydrated down to about 18% water. So it's mostly sugar. So we have to give the hive enough room to bring in all the nectar during the honey flow and give them a place to put the nectar. Then, then they dry the nectar and condense it down. And then when it's, when it's ripe, 18% water content, they cap it and that's what they eat over the. The, the winner. Gum. So they have to have more room than they than you think they do. See, that's a thought I never crossed my mind. If you give want, them room to collect and store, and they can they can process when. And they can they can process during you know rainy days or when there's no nectar. When there's a dearth, they can they can dry. They can dehydrate the honey and and cap.